let's go to hormone free and antibiotics. That kind of whole oh boy. debacle, right? I know that's here it we, seems it seems kind of crazy how some animals can be hormone free. They can be like. Um, uh, what, what, was, what was the other one? The no hormones administered. There seems like there's a lot of labels with antibiotics and hormones. So you want to kind of jump into jump into those two? Yeah, yeah, let's get it. Let's have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, why, why would you use pump? hormones and antibiotics in the first place? Well, when an animal gets sick, just like humans get sick, the, the farmer has to figure out how to save that animal, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes in, in well, a lot of times in big ag. Yep. Y when you're pumping animals, feeding hundreds of thousands of animals, the the percentage that will happen, that happens, yeah. you're going to have sick animals, right? Yeah. And so when you're talking about massive scales, um, that's that's why hormones are typically used, is because when you're talking millions and millions and millions of animals, I believe probably 20% of those animals will will eventually get sick. Wow. Yeah. Oh man. So that's why you would use. Antibiotics. What about hormones? Same, same thing, thing. Same thing. Same thing. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. When I, when I think of hormones, I think of like how the chicken used to be like you know two pounds, and now it's like six pounds. And is that does that have anything to do with it? Like pumping hormones to make it grow faster? I believe that's a different type of hormone. Mm -hmm. the The hormones that are given to animals are are because they're pu pumping out the animals too fast, yeah. right? And so, okay. animals just like a bodybuilder. Can can grow so fast, and yeah. so because they're pumping them so hard to grow so fast, some of them get sick. Yeah, and so okay. they basically have to control that sickness by giving them these hormones and antibiotics. Yeah. So so what? So hormone free. Do you know what, what does hormone free mean? <sighs> Again, different classifications, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, in, in our world, we we don't go anything beyond never ever. Yes. And never okay. ever is no hormones ever administered ever from birth to finish. Yeah. And so they call that never ever. They call that ABF, antibiotic free, hormone free. Okay. And so you kind of want to stay away from all of the other stuff, those gray areas, right? The all natural, which yep. I think we'll probably talk about. Um, then there's no hormones, all. no hormones administered. Yep. So that, that one real quick, that one is... It's that the animal has been given no hormones uh, 120 days prior to slaughter. They can write no hormones administered. So yep. they can be pumped with hormones, and then they're like, okay, well, let's cut it for a few months, You're and then done. we'll slaughter them. And they call that a withdrawal program. So mm -hmm. basically yeah. when the animal is killed, there's no more traces of this product. Yeah. And so that is a classification of hormone-free. That's crazy. Yeah. I, I just love, like, like I'm reading a lot about the USDA, and it says, according to the USDA, beef can be labeled as hormone-free if the animals have never been given hormones or if they have been raised in a way that meets certain standards for withdrawal. And I was just like, withdrawal times. And I was like, it seems kind of just, wh what are these certain standards? Or if they've been raised by, and like, it's just it's so much gray area with yeah. all this stuff. And I believe in that one of those classifications, too, <clears throat> if you spent maybe 20 or 30 percent of its life in outside mm -hmm. then it's also put in a different category if it was given hormones or antibiotics as well so really? there's all these tiny loops per category mm -hmm. and it they, it all gets lost wow right? yeah and don't worry guys we're going to tell you how to pick good meat at the end of this <laughs> so i know there's a lot of just gray area but but it's just crazy to, to really dig into this and, and kind of realize how many different labels are put on or different names are put on these labels to really influence your your buying and, absolutely and it's, yeah, it's just insane so uh, 